effect. We did the only placebo-controlled carbohydrate loading study that has ever been done. And why don't people use placebo-controlled trials? Because they might get the answer they don't want. And this study was not funded by industry, so we could do some other things. And we gave the guys a placebo carbohydrate, and this is their performance over 100 kilometers. There was the time, and you will notice that there is no difference. This is the only carbohydrate-loaded trial that's ever been done with a placebo, and it showed no effect. <laughs> but let me show you my bias. This is how scientists are. This is now 2000, and this is what we write. This placebo-controlled trial shows that carbohydrate loading, and then I put it in capitals, did not improve performance during which carbohydrate was consumed. So you know what we said? It had to be the carbohydrate consumption that, that this, this destroyed the difference. By preventing any fall in blood glucose concentrations, carbohydrate ingestion may offset any detrimental effects of performance on lower pre-exercise muscle glycogen and liver glycogen concentrations. So we essentially disproved that, but we couldn't believe it, you see. So we had to explain why, oh yes, you must still take your carbohydrates because they're still going to work. But we, didn't, we couldn't conclude that because that wasn't what we did. But to get the paper published, we probably had to add that. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so. But now if you go back to the 1940s and 50s, this was one of the greatest runners of all time, Jim Peters. He rode, reduced the world record in the marathon by seven minutes. Seven minutes in, in three years. And it was really interesting because he came about at the end of the Second World War. He was a great runner. And this is what he said. We were still rationed for meat and none extra could be attained. At the time of the 1948 Olympics, we were given extra meat and received food passes from overseas. But in the 1952 Olympics, that had stopped. The only thing that could be done was to try to make up with extra bread and potatoes. And look what he says, which is probably not the best food on which to run over 100 miles a week in training. This is the opinion of the 1948-1952 runner. And this man, you read, he trained hard. He really trained fast all his life. So we, we forget that. We've got to go back to the 50s and see what people were eating. And I've spoken to them. Ron Clark, who died recently, I asked him. He held 17 world records in Australia. And I said, do you ever carbohydrate load? Do you know, we just, we just ate normal food. That Fred will talk about that. But then along comes Stephen Finney, and he does this study. And he concludes from this study, he adapts group to a high fat diet and he said four weeks of adaptation to the ketogenic diet resulted in no change in endurance performance. That's not quite true because here are the data. And what the data show that in some people, exercise performance, this is the ketogenic diet in the darker color, went up dramatically for 84%, 30% and some had dropped dramatically. So what he should have said, there was a biphasic response. Some responded incredibly and some very poorly to the diet. That's what the conclusion should have been. But we were all blind, of course. He was blind at the time as well. He influenced me and we did our own high-fat diet study, in 19, published in 1994. So we would have started thinking about this in the 90, late 1980s. And we found an effect. We found a big effect on performance. So here we were, a group that adapted to a high-fat diet or a high-carbohydrate diet, and they did two hours of exercise and then they had to exercise at a fixed work rate for as long as they possibly could. So they started depleted, muscle glycogen depleted, and then they exercised for as far long as they could. And guess what happened? The group on the high fat diet had a much better performance. So, but, but this is now 1994. Do you think it changed my mind? Not one iota. Completely ignored it. That can't be true. You see? So, 